Hey everyone, today we're talking about one of the most important topics in gaming as it pertains to hardware. We are talking about API overhead, and this is the limiting factor when it comes to hardware performance. It's why our CPUs and GPUs underperform versus what their spec would otherwise suggest when it comes to gaming. APIs are things like DirectX 11, DirectX 12, and AMD Mantle. There are all kinds of APIs out in the world, but specifically for gaming, these are the three we're talking about today. An API is an application programming interface. In the case of DX11, 12, and Mantle, it is what enables game developers to hook into the hardware and the operating system of the host computer. This makes their lives easier for programming, and it even enables things like better backwards compatibility on hardware when you're playing older games. So DirectX 11 has a very heavy overhead when it comes to something called a draw call. If you're not familiar with what that is, a draw call is effectively when the CPU asks the GPU to draw a new object to the screen or new geometry. It is not including things like shading and other special effects, lighting, stuff like that. It's strictly geometry and object calls to the GPU from the CPU. This causes a large bottleneck, and one of the biggest limiters in PC performance is the bottleneck produced by APIs. In fact, it can be up to 10 times different with DirectX 12 versus DirectX 11, the current one that you're most likely all using. And we'll talk about this more in a second. So first of all, it's worth noting that AMD Mantle has been phased out and has been publicly stated by AMD's developers that it is falling into disuse. They are urging game developers to move to DirectX 12 as Mantle is being adapted into OpenGL and will effectively be no longer used in its current state. DirectX 12 is an API owned, developed, and operated by Microsoft, and it is being phased in as DirectX 11 ages. DX12 offers great gains for performance, especially for CPUs. This is the same as Mantle, and this is a point of confusion for a lot of people. APIs, although often associated with video cards, are not entirely GPU bound. In fact, an API produces the largest overhead on low-end CPUs, so having a more efficient API like Mantle or DX12 will actually allow you to buy a lower-end CPU like a quad core or dual core CPU, even the G3258 will see massive gains from a, an API like DX12 or Mantle, and the video card will take on some of that load. It shares a little bit better with newer APIs. So in our testing, we see that DirectX 12 often has a 10x draw call per second improvement over DirectX 11. It's about on par with Mantle, although Mantle does outperform it when using a quad core, six core, or better CPU. And DX12 outperforms Mantle when using something with more limited threads like a G3258. So in these charts I'm showing you, you'll see a few different things. You'll see two variables for the CPU. That's the G3258, which is a low-end $70 CPU from Intel, and a 4790K provided by CyberPower, which is a high-end uh, hyper-threaded quad-core Intel CPU with eight threads. So these are our two CPUs. These are where we'll see the biggest difference in terms of throttling with APIs. The GPUs, we used a 290X strictly because it is required or similar for Mantle, and we used a Titan X just because it's new and fun to test. I want to very heavily emphasize that these tests are not comparable to one another. You cannot compare the 290X to the Titan X in terms of draw calls per second using this test. It is not built for that. It is not built to compare video cards. It is strictly built to compare APIs and API performance. That'd be DX11, 12, and Mantle. So although one video card may outperform the other in some tests, you really can't look at it that way. Uh, for various reasons, and one of the smaller ones is that none of this is really finalized yet. It's all still in development. The other one is that this test was built to test APIs. That disclaimer stated, what we're looking at here are draw calls per second. So the draw calls per second will slowly stack up in the test as the CPU and GPU get loaded, and once the frame rate finally drops below 30 FPS, you will see the the, the test stops. So once it hits 30 FPS, it's concluded and the results are in. So we count the number of draw calls made in the thousands and millions and then, uh, and then put that in these charts. So what you're looking at is the draw calls per second made by each API and it is measured in thousands here. So if you see the number uh, 712, that's 712,000 and likewise for the items in the millions. So with DirectX 12 and Mantle, we're often using a 4790K, hitting in excess of 14, 15, 18 million draw calls per second using the newer APIs. 
and this is a massive gain over DirectX 11. So you can see why everyone's so excited about the new APIs because it will effectively unlock potential in your hardware that you weren't able to take advantage of before because of the overhead produced by these during draw calls. In other tests using the G3258, as you can see in these charts, the, the, the gains are almost 10x or greater in some cases. And that's because the, the CPU is so thread limited with a low end CPU that moving any amount of load from it to the GPU has huge impact. So the takeaway here is that DirectX 12 is very important to the world of gaming. Mantle is dead. Forget about Mantle. It's shown here for comparison purposes with the other APIs, but it will effectively be de defunct by the time DirectX 12 ships. No game developers uh, that are noteworthy are using it going forward. It is being deprecated. DirectX 12 is critical to the advancement of hardware utilization, and you can see that in these results. Pretty exciting stuff. If you want to run this test yourself, you can check out our article linked in the description below. I ran the whole test. I described some very brief technical detail on how draw calls work and where the bottlenecks are and how you can run the test yourself. You need to use Windows 10 Preview. So that is all for this test. Please check out the channel. Subscribe if you like this content. We're getting heavy into the hardware analytical content these days, so we want you coming back to check it out. It really helps us out if you subscribe, and I will see you all next time.